Hello again, everyone. Time for another edition of The Burger Bunch, a joint project between Park City Television and Salt Lake Magazine. I'm Ori Hoffer, and today we are doing things a little bit more upscale. We are here at the Stein Erickson Lodge right on the slopes of Deer Valley Resort, and we are going to be trying out their legendary Stein's Burger. How will this stack up compared to our other burgers? Well, you'll just have to sit back and wait and see. We're here to eat the burgers. Oh, you're here to eat the burger. Fantastic. <laughs> Make sure it's nice and ready for you. It's the same burger I've done since I since I've came on board. We haven't changed it at all. What, yeah, what's a, bur a, what's a burger you like? Yeah. You know, I, I, Besides your own. You know, I like the uh, I like the garlic burger. It's a classic at, uh, at the bottom. cotton bottom. I do like a griddled burger. I mean, I'll eat the Millie burgers. It's the ambiance, it's the place. It's sitting on a corner right there um, on the old wooden tables and the crab yield lady that tells you they don't have a bathroom. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, 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 it's kind of the whole ambiance yeah. that kind of well, this was definitely one of the best burgers I've had in the Burger Bunch outings. I liked it a whole lot. This was spectacular. There, there were so few flaws. It's definitely one of the tastier burgers we've had. Zane Holmquist, I think, has you know proves his reputation as a as a as one of the best chefs in Utah and someone who certainly pays a lot of attention to the quality of his ingredients and their preparation. I think a half pound of meat's too much meat. I think it would have been a better with like a third of a pound. Also, I could have tasted the fried onions, which you really couldn't taste, and I'm crazy about them. But overall, this was fabulous. The meat itself tasted really great and was um, cooked perfectly, which is, I think, the first time we've had that happen. So overall, I gave this burger an 88. For me, that's high praise indeed. Those tomatoes were unbelievable. Definitely best best burger I've had. I gave it a 94. As everyone said, this is a fantastic burger. Um, beefiness, I gave it a full 20. Uh, and the greasiness, because it was a good greasy. You know, the drippings were coming from, from my meat being a little rare and mixing in with all the other yummy ingredients. Overall, I gave the whole thing a 91. It's, it's really one of the best burgers we've had on the program, so. There you go. Cook to order, which was key. We haven't been able to find that too often, so I had a nice uh, medium rare pinkness in mine. I'm someone who likes pickles on my burger, and the pickle spear we got, you couldn't really play with that on the burger, so I kind of took off for that. I ended up with an 83 myself. And I think it comes down to the distinctiveness of the flavors that you got from each separate thing. Like the aged cheddar, that was so good. It's like so set itself apart. The Burger Bunch has spoken. 89.4 is the average for the Glitterton slash Troll Holland Lounge here at the Stein Erickson Lodge. As always, we want your opinions on where we should go for our next burger. Send your comments to comments at parkcity.tv. To see each and every edition of The Burger Bunch, go on to our website. Again, that's parkcity.tv. That'll do it for the Burger Bunch. We'll see you next time.